Let me see. And that's the full moon. Oh yeah. Dude, it's hard to not look at the moon when you're out in the open. True. Why don't you want to look at the moon? Because I'll turn into a giant ape that breathes fire. Duh. A giant ape that breathes fire? You know it. It is the second morning over here at the Valley of Fires. It stopped snowing probably what time? About in the morning, like uh, six, seven. Yeah, I think it was about six or seven when it stopped snowing. The sun's gonna crest up over there. It's already out. Yeah. Not to us in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Got fire going. I'm gonna go try to see if I can scavenge up a little bit more wood supposed to clear up the next day but the problem was is we had a long ways to go we didn't even make it a quarter of the way in the volcanic rock towards the peak there was a storm coming a second night and high winds and it wasn't a snowstorm it was a uh, rain so that would have been horrible so we decided we had to get out of there yo what's up everybody we're out here in the valley of fires we ended up getting more snow than we anticipated last night and the sun is out bright but yeah we got quite a bit of shots uh, unfortunately it's just we, we can't make it like we can't really see where we're stepping it just makes it that much easier to step in a hole so we're gonna take our time trying to navigate back out of the valley of fires back to the field and hike back home So Francisco, it's the second morning. How do you feel? I feel a bit cold, but oh man, I feel that sun. It feels real good. I think all this ice is gonna, or this snow is gonna melt soon. Wesley, how you doing over there? I'm pretty good. Um, but I brought a 32 degree sleeping bag. It was not adequate at all. I wasn't totally like freezing to death per se, but I was miserable. I couldn't sleep very well. Maybe got an hour in. So, what did we learn? Zero degree sleeping bags are king. The plus about this small cave is that we figured out is that it captures heat more and it keeps us warm. Yeah, look at this. Look how hot I get. <laughs> <laughs> The downside to a cave this small is I can't stand up, so it's really difficult to maneuver around the cave. So for our next time that we try to do this, because we definitely all decided it was a mission fail, is elbow pads and knee pads. We're going to need that to crawl around the cave, and the next time we're going to bring Z pads instead of tarps, so we don't lose so much heat to this, the, the stone floor, you know? But, um, what else? <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget your helmet, because it's crazy up here look at this oh yeah gotta, yeah bring your definitely bring a helmet <laughs> a helmet would have been nice
Francisco, how do you feel? I feel excited, man. I, th I think this is pretty fun. Hopefully nobody falls. That's the goal. <laughs> Wesley? I feel pretty good. If I fall in a crevasse, I'll drink that crevasse water. Ezra, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I'll eat this, these gummy bears, gummy cokes, and sip on that crevasse water. I'm stuck in a crack. You heard him. Nobody fall. Nobody fall. Not even me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hike out. And we're gonna explore, take our time. But it's gonna take a while to get out of here anyway, so. We'll see you all.